morning folks this is Gary McDaniel with Three Crosses Wood Carving and today I'm going to do a fairly short video uh, a little better explanation in detail and a little closer view of how I carve an eye. Now I don't uh, claim that this is my eye, I didn't originate it. Uh, it's really a variation of, of what Jeff Fairs and some other people do. But I've changed it up a little bit to suit my style of carving. Now you can see in front of me I've roughed out a little face here and nose. Got my bridge. You can see where I I have uh, taken a U gouge, a vayner if you want to call it that, and I have roughed out the the area where we're going to put the eye in. I've kind of smoothed the brow down a little bit. And then we're going to get started. And as I go, I'll explain to you the tools I use and, uh, and why. Now this eye is probably about half of a uh, full size, half a realistic. And you use tools dependent on the size of the eye that you're going to carve. In this case, I'm going to uh, be using probably what I would call my intermediate set of tools I use for face carving. Okay, now you've noticed that I've already laid out. You can see I put a center line in right here. I have located the inside corner of the eye, right even with the outside corner of the nose. And the size of the eye is basically the width of the nose right here. Now I've made it just a little bit smaller cheated in just a little bit and I've laid it out here okay actually a little smaller even there but that's okay uh, for demonstration purposes this will work fine the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to set the eye mound and this circle you see here is actually the eye mound which you really don't see it is under the eyelids the part of the eye you see is caused by the eyelids opening up so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take a veiner, and you can see it right here. If I can get it where you can see it. It's about an eighth inch veiner, and I'm going to start cutting these lines. I'm going to be cutting from the top back towards the center, kind of centering on the line. And as you go towards the center, you want to make that deeper. And this is going to start allowing us to have a round eye mound as we go here in a minute. Okay. Let me just cut it a little deeper. Um, you want this to be pretty deep when you hit the center line. The deeper you get this, really the, the more roundness you will be building into the eye mound. So, and it, you have to do it a couple of times. You're not going to get it all in one fell swoop. So just go ahead and keep cutting it until you get it deep enough you think. Okay. Now even after we go back and start rounding the eye mound, if you find it's not deep enough, you can deepen it a little bit more and I'll show you how in just a minute. Okay. Now pretty getting down there pretty deep. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it around and we'll do this other side the same way. I'll come and start going to the center. I'll start deepening that up. Come back this way and go to the center. Okay, get some more. Oops, excuse me. It's kind of an awkward position I'm in right here, so you'll have to excuse the fumbles. Okay, a little bit deeper here. All right. All right. Now I want to just kind of uh, extend this line out. I want to kind of extend this line out a little bit more. And what I do now is I go ahead and take my and I want to come right on out. And what this is going to do. This is going to open the eye socket up so that you can see the eye from the side of the face. I'm going to come on in here. Just kind of open this up a little bit, like so. Okay. 
And then I'll actually come back and take something. I'm going to use this skew right here and I'm just going to kind of open all this up a little bit more. And I'll show you what that does here in just a minute. Okay. What it does is that when you look at the eye from the side, see how you can see the eyeball here? And we'll even open that up a little bit more here in a minute. Okay. Now, we, let me kind of clean that up a little bit. You can always clean this up in a minute. Now, the cleaner you make this as you go, uh, the better your eyes going to look. You kind of clean this up right here just a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. Now what I'm going to do is, hang on just a minute, I forgot a tool. Let me get it. Okay. I'm going to take the, the shallow gouge. This happens to be a number seven. You can use a number five. You can use about anything you can get in here with. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to start up here at this level and I'm going to round down into that ditch, so to speak. And I'm going to create roundness side to side in this eye mound. And you just kind of take your time. You don't try to take too much at one time. Now you don't want to, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to make this at an angle. It's got to be round. Think round as you're doing it. And the rounder you make this, the better your eye is going to look in the end. And see, I'm just kind of working one side to the other. And I want to just round that down into the bottom of the ditch. You don't have to come all the way to the middle. But you do need to get it round. You don't want any facets, which are flat places showing. Now, if you want to make it a little deeper on the inside here, all you have to do is just kind of come in and just go on in a little bit and then you can turn the piece around and come back here and clean it up like so. So I can get that a little bit deeper if I didn't get it deep enough with the uh, vayner. Okay, you want to leave it looking kind of clean in there so make sure you come back. Alright, there's one side. I'm going to turn it around this way. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Start turning. Roll it down into the into the ditch. Like so. Now sometimes, if you're carving a smaller eye, naturally you have to use a smaller tool to do this. Uh, like I said, this happens to be about a 5 sixteenths number 7 gouge. But you could use a number five. Some people use a vayner to do this. I just happen to like this tool. It works real well for me. You notice I'm kind of cleaning that up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to lay this area back a little bit more. Uh, to use a word that I learned from Jeff Fairs, kind of getting a smooth transition of form here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I just like to lay it back a little bit more. Okay, now, let me kind of do a little cleanup on it. Right. Just kind of clean it up a little of this. Okay, now we've got, we've established this roundness here. This is the eye mound, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start cutting the eyelids into it and exposing the eyeball. And you want to come back here and put the center line back in. Let it just come on out. Like so. Okay. Now what we're going to do is draw in the top eyelid. And now what I do is, you'll notice it rounds from about here to here. I'm going to start right in that corner. I'm going to come up about a 45 degree. Just about as far as that roundness goes. Okay. And then you're going to come from this point. Now here's where the other end of this eye is, is down right here. I'm going to come from this point and I'm going to round down right there and I'm going to let that line go right on through. Okay? So just like that. There it is. This is going to be the line of my top. Actually, I'm going to make it a little smaller. 
I'll come in, change that disc a little bit. I like a squinting eye, okay? Just like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my detail knife. This happened to be one that was made by Gene Webb. Had it for a long time and I love it. Needs to be good and sharp, razor sharp. Okay, and I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to stick it right in that corner. And I'm going to go ahead and push it in pretty deep. All right. And then I'm going to cut one continuous line not undercutting this knife needs to be straight up and down to the wood all the way there okay make sure i got a good cut all right now what we're going to do here is we're going to round the, or we're going to take this and we're going to come straight up with it but as we do this and as we do this we need to keep that roundness that we've set so i'll start down here in the corner sometimes it, it helps if you just kind of go here and make a little downward cut and that just kind of helps me but you're going to come all the way down from the bottom of the eye mound and you're going to start rounding it up straight up now you're not going back at an angle you're not making a football like some people do when they do eyes let's see okay and i want to take it till i got oh you could say maybe a sixteenth of an inch depth right there and you got to keep that roundness always be thinking about that because the rounder you keep this the better off you are you want, don't want any facets you don't want any straight lines it's got to be round and see i'm just shaving shaving it up not taking much at any one time 